If you want a sniper build, I got you. Today, I have a sniper playmaker combo, a sniper dangler hybrid, and a pure goal scorer build. All packaged into one video. I'm gonna try and be as efficient as possible as to not waste any of your time. All I ask in return is that you go down and hit that sub button if you use any of these builds and you like them. We're actually gonna start with the pure goal scorer. In all of these builds, I'm going with the same height and weight. You can tweak this a little bit and I'll get into that later, but for now, we're starting out at 5'10", 160 pounds. We're gonna save the abilities and boosts for last. We're going straight into attributes, right into technique, just juice that speed all the way up. Don't touch the shot accuracies. Last year's slap shot accuracy would have gone down, but with the way one-timers work, I like keeping it a bit higher. We're gonna touch up on agility, one on balance. It's pretty low, but I'll come back to that later and another on agility. So three down on agility, one down on balance, and five up on speed, which seems kind of crazy, but this year they changed it so that technique, play style, and tactics all come preloaded with 80 skill points for you to spend. So if you remember anything from this video, just remember, when you're making your builds, make sure you go into technique, play style, and tactics and spend these free 80 skill points. They're gonna add more skill points further on in the year to make builds progressively more and more powerful. But for now, I repeat it again, you have free skill points in technique, play style, and tactics. Next, going into power. And again, speed kills, but we're only bringing the acceleration up two. We're also gonna bring wrist shot power up two. Slap shot power is also going up two and puck control and endurance are gonna end up taking the hit equally as much, three notches on each. Next, we have play style and these are sniper builds, okay? You can make a sniper that's good at defense, but personally, that's what your teammates are for. You're not playing defense, you're Geno man, you're worried about scoring goals, juice that offensive awareness all the way up. This will help you absolutely crush one-timers, pick up the puck. It just makes you a better offensive player overall. Then we're gonna bring defensive awareness down too. Even if you do get in the lanes, you're, you're just a liability out there, all right? Don't try and do you know interceptions or lanes, bring the body checking up one. You're just, you're not gonna be a great defensive player, but that's okay, because as long as you score more goals than they score on you, you'll be just fine and with a little boost of body checking, you should be able to knock some smaller builds off the puck. Next, we're gonna pop into tenacity where we're juicing hand to eye, just because, I mean, a goal scorer can score from anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're shooting the puck or tipping it, put that hand eye up, you get some nice tip animations, and then you can take whatever you want down here to make it right. I'd say strength is your most important attribute here, although if you are getting injured off of hits, if you're getting hit a lot, maybe don't tank durability that much. Uh, we're not blocking shots with this build. You should be pretty good at avoiding hits, and I'll take strength down. Next, let's move on to tactics, which if you're playing center like I do, you're gonna wanna bring those face-offs all the way up. You can bring fighting skill all the way down, bring discipline down two, and put deking up one, along with our first boost, which is controlled deking. This will give you a pretty good deking rating on a sniper. Snipers come with inherently horrible deking ratings too. So to get that 80 hot, 85 is really helpful. Next, let's go into the abilities. We're not using make it snappy. We're using one of the most powerful abilities this year. One T paired with close quarters and heat seeker. Meaning not only do you have the strongest scoring method in this game with one T and a very good slap shot rating, you also have close quarters, meaning your shots up close are powerful, and heat seeker, meaning your shots from far away are powerful. You are now a scoring machine. In earlier years, I would not have touched heat seeker. I think it was a little bit redundant, but this year, it seems like those snipes from far out can and will go in if you do aim them properly and if you have a high enough wrist shot rating, which we do. And to make us even more consistent, our last boost is gonna be going towards power wrister bringing us up to a 94 wrist shot power. This is my version of the pure goal scorer sniper. You can change anything here however you want to suit your play styles, especially abilities. If you don't like running these, run something else. I highly recommend toying with it and finding what suits you the best. That includes height and weight. However, I will say only, only go, well, you only can go up to 6'1", but if you're gonna change the height, only go 5'9", 5'10", or 6'1". There is no benefit to going any other height except for 5'9", 5'10", and 6'1". If you look at the stats, look how they change. Those are the only heights you should go. 
if you do go 6-1, I think maybe you should bring your acceleration up one more. Sacrifice, probably endurance, but that's up to you. That's a judgment call. Also, if you think you're getting bullied around there a little bit too much, you can go up to 180 pounds. I wouldn't go any heavier than 180 pounds. I go 180 pounds or 160 pounds. Next, let me show you the two other variants I talked about in the beginning. We have the Playmaker Combo and the Dangler Hybrid. First, for the Playmaker, we're just pretty much changing up the abilities and the passing stats. Obviously, we're gonna put tape to tape on. It's gonna make our passes a lot better even though we don't have the greatest rating. For your zone ability, this really depends on you because you are the Playmaker. 1T isn't as effective because you're gonna be the one passing it. So you might wanna run Gold Heat Seeker, Gold Close Quarters, or Gold Make It Snappy. It's up to you, but if you do have another Playmaker on your team and you're just doing a lot of passing, moving the puck a bunch, then 1T will be even more effective. So again, zone ability, it matters based on how your team works. I would put tape to tape on just because you won't have the greatest passing rating. And for your last ability, you can either use another shooting ability or you could have pretty good success with puck on a string, especially if you're not one of those teams who passes it a bunch and you're now a sniper playmaker who's doing most of the playmaking for your team. If you're doing most of the playmaking for your team, you will want puck on a string just to evade opponents, have better stick handling and find better opportunities for yourself and others. If you have one of those offenses where you're passing it around all the time, then you can use another shooting ability such as gray one team. The last thing I do to make this a really good playmaker is just go plus five on passing, take down your offensive awareness a little bit, take down your defensive awareness a little bit more. This gives you 85 passing with tape to tape. Your passes will be very crisp. Trust me, this build will work great. Lastly, we have the Dangler version of the Sniper build. I'm gonna put my build back to how it was, but this version, I don't really recommend as much that you run it at center because you really wanna max out that deking rating. So I'd say try not to run it at center. Try to get that face-offs down, maybe improve your discipline as much as you can. But the bread and butter of this Dangler variant is that, well, you should probably be running close quarters and puck on a string. The Dangler variant is greater at pulling out deke moves and getting in closer to the net. This is more of a, I don't have any teammates, so I'm gonna do all the work myself and score all the goals myself type. All right, for your last ability spot, again, you have a couple of options here. You can either go with one T if you do get a couple of passes, Heat Seeker to juice your scoring from outside a little bit. You could run tape to tape if you wanna juice your playmaking abilities a little bit, or personal favorite is backhand beauty. The backhands are very powerful when you're getting close. It is kind of redundant with close quarters and backhand beauty, but you can get some really nice backhands. You don't even have to do traditional backhand, forehand, backhand. You can just come in forehand, backhand, like on the hash marks. I've ripped some backhands in practice. The cameras weren't rolling, but trust me, they go in, all right? I love playing around with backhand beauty. Again, this is a little bit more free. Run what you want. This is a, I got no teammates. It's all up to me type. And that's really all I got for you today. If you want to see this build and the builds I have in the future and unplanned builds, builds you haven't seen yet, want to see them all in action, early access, go down to the first link in the description and follow my Twitch. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you're new. And thank you so much for watching.